Women don't talk about it, do they? And it is important. That that's a fantastic idea, isn't it? Yeah. It's a brilliant idea, and and I think you're right. I think it's something that you know certainly with breast cancer, women talk about it more, and yeah. and men much less so. So it's that's a great um, advertisement for it. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk more about the film then. Fantastic beast somewhere to find them. Now the brilliant thing about this, because I hadn't I hadn't seen any Harry Potter before <laughs> now. No one. <laughs> don't don't admit it. I There's know. a whole Quidditch team Are we over on there? television? <laughs> Sorry, Quidditch. <laughs> hey, the good news is I'm into it now. Massively. Yeah. Really into it. But the brilliant thing is you don't have to have seen any of it to get the film. Yeah, there's well, there's a term I just learned. It's called Easter eggs, which is like when a script has little clues for people. Um, the big fans will be able to pick up on things that are hidden in there. But absolutely, even if you haven't seen it, you're able to completely follow Hang on, the story. That's called Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Easter egg. It is. E it's yeah. so weird. I was asked at Comic Con this huge thing when we yeah. were introducing the, uh, 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 the Fantastic Beasts trailer. So an American talk show host was running it and he asked me about what the Easter eggs of Fantastic Beasts might and be. And like, I started talking, talking about, about chocolate. <laughs> 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 I was looking at me going, I was like, what, a, what is an Easter egg? Well, it transpires that it's like when you put little nuggets of information that oh, some people who are super familiar with the world. So, like an Easter egg hunt? Yeah. Yeah, oh, exactly. Right. So, there are clues for the super fans, but. I'm so pleased you didn't know what that was as well. Oh, right? no, I, <laughs> I learned it from Eddie. You know? <laughs> but, but one thing you do know is all about your character, Catherine. Tell us about it. Yes, I play Porpentina. Goldstein. Uh, most people call her Tina, but I just love that full name. So whenever oh, anyone Tina. asks, I've never heard think... that name. That's a brilliant yeah. name for the yeah. baby. Oh, oh. 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 How big of a fan of our film are you? <laughs> <laughs> Massive now. <laughs> um, yeah, and she she's a recently demoted Auror at Makusa, and Makusa stands for the Magical Congress of the United States of America. So she's basically like a magical detective who uh, got demoted at work, and um, her career is the thing that works in her life, so when she loses it, she's kind of a little bit at sea, and there's this sort of, I feel like her subplot in the movie is a little bit how Tina got her groove back, yeah. because, you know... Fantastic beast and how <laughs> Tina got her groove back. <laughs> <laughs> Because when she meets him and, you know, he... Uh, oh, don't give it away. You know, yes. Don't give <laughs> it away, Catherine. Well, you can imagine. Look at it. You know, look at the guy. <laughs> oh, shut. Well, let's take a look at the moment. One, one from the visit. He's quite a sort of, don't panic, Mr. Man of England. Oh, and I love his character as well. He's really sweet, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. So it was a while after you got the part that you got to meet um, J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Now, how was it having her on set? Is she intimidating or is she really kind? Because she had quite specific notes about how she wanted the characters played, didn't she? Because she's the boss, isn't she? She's she, on set. It must be quite nerve-wracking. It's, um, it's amazingly nerve-wracking when you first meet her, but she <clears throat> I think she's so used to people being nervous that she is so disarming. Right. She, when you meet her, she's incredibly humble and as like, one of the kindest people I've met as well. Yeah. And she kind of gave us full confidence to, yeah. to go ahead. You know, when she shakes your hand, yeah. what... Who does she say? She, she doesn't go, I'm Jay, does she? No, or she, she calls Joe. us Joe. Joe, yeah. Joe. And right. then you feel That's... like when you, call, when you call her sort of Joe in interviews, it's a bit like calling Robert De Niro Bob. Bob, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't want to be too presumptuous. Sure. <laughs> now, Eddie, you have a special way of getting into character, isn't it? And you use a movie icon to help you get into this world, didn't you? Um, I, well, well, there was a really interesting thing when when you first see Newt, when he's first described in the script. Right. The amazing thing about a J.K. Rowling script is it's not just the dialogue, but the kind of description around it is just so detailed and kind of infectious. And when you first see him, he was described as having a Buster Keaton-esque quality. Oh. And, and, and a sort of specific walk, which is kind of really exciting for an actor and really scary, because I was like, what if I do a really... Were you sure about uh, what a Buster Keaton walk would look like? I had no idea. Right, okay, okay. I went into a YouTube hole. Right. And, uh, and found out. And found out a bit, yeah. Could you maybe demonstrate? I Rath? could demonstrate. But Tell it was... the thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I also met this guy who's a tracker, okay, so his job is to, like, track creatures. Okay. And so he um, he does this walk, like, if you're being really quiet chasing an animal, or not chasing an animal, like, so he, you keep one foot out like this and you go really slowly and quietly, oh. like this, 
OK? You so, do so, do that. Yeah, you do. And he, he stood like this. So I basically made uh, Newt like, walk like this, which was great until I had to run. <laughs> <laughs> and when he runs, he runs like this. And, so, um, and I pulled about four muscles in my groin. <laughs> but do you know what's so annoying is even when he had his feet out turned, he's still like ten times faster than I am, and we had to run holding hands. <laughs> and so we, they'd call action, and I'd pull every muscle from the waist Aww. down because he ran so damn fast. But oh. we heard, Captain, darn, that you darn. did a bit of Charleston to get into character. Yep. I just demonstrated it. <laughs> oh, this this is your floor. Really oh, really come on, I know you right. Come on. You can just do the arms. Well, you know what? The one I think I can do in the heels. I mean. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice you got lovely wiggle. Yeah. 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 Great yeah. bit of swivel yeah. there. Thank you. Not meant for public consumption. <laughs> <laughs> well, a fantastic oh beast of where to find them is in cinemas from Friday. Yes, and that's the day that our intrepid team of Rachel Riders will, we hope, yes. be